Good morning. This morning's devotion is brought to you by the Charlottetown Seventh-day Adventist Church for January 3rd. This morning's theme is What God Wants for the New Year, Part 1. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 A question recently came to my mind. What can I give to Jesus in this new year? If I were going to give Jesus a gift, what could I give him that he would appreciate? After all, he is the creator of all things. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2 And the one who holds all things together. Colossians chapter 1 verse 17 So what do you give someone who not only has everything, but actually made everything? That's a tough question. Yet, there had to be something I could give him that would bring a smile to his face and would bring him joy. There is something. I discovered it in the little book of Micah. In his day, Micah wrote to a world facing huge problems. He not only pointed out the rampant sin and hypocrisy among God's people, but also, in no uncertain terms, warned them of the judgment to come. Dropped into this severe message from God, however, Micah included a delightful passage. Although it is only three verses long, it tells us exactly what God wants from you and me in this new year. Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Micah chapter 6 verse 6 does God want a quantity of sacrifice? The answer is no. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousand rivers of oil? Verse 7. Does God want only a quality of sacrifice? Again, the answer is no. Shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body? For the sin of my soul? Is God asking me for the ultimate sacrifice? The answer is no. What God desires to receive from us comes from a place that is very accessible, yet very personal. And it has everything to do with our hearts. Have a blessed day.